What's up guys, it's Railroader Cabal here in Clash of Legions to do a strategy video commentary today. Pretty high demand here for videos for uh, Clash of Legions. You know, um, there's a couple of content creators out there, both in English and in Russian, providing as many content as possible for Clash of Legions. And in my case, you know, I'm only able to make like videos um, every Sunday. So what I decided to do was just do a strategy video today and then compile up a bunch of gameplay footage um, over the weekend and then release them during the week. But anyway, we're going to be doing um, a strategy video commentary today. So we're going to be on the map Oasis Temple. And I thought because of the insane amount of people asking for strategy videos, I have decided to do uh, transport drops. So transport is probably the most, um, un well, it's not maybe underused card, but it's definitely a card that's basically the new meta. So for those new players out there, the meta just basically means cards that are a lot of players are using right now. So that could be um, and another good example of the meta is Demon because Demon is an overpowered card here. So we're going to be doing here a transport drop and I'm going to be playing this game here. So I'm going to be going for uh, a, null, a null here and I'm going to be playing against my clan mate, uh, Hype. So Hype has no idea what's going to be happening. He does actually do a pretty good job, you know, of uh, scouting me. And with this in mind, you know, I probably could have chosen a better map than Oasis Temple. But all I did here was just scout him out. And then just, uh, I probably could have attacked the uh, good, uh, the uh, goblins, but I didn't, at the same time I didn't want to because I wanted to, you know, show you guys the uh, transport drops. And I probably could have uh, used a uh, Gnoltra drop, but I wanted to do Iron Pants because Iron Pants is definitely uh, another uh, broken card. It's very, very good against goblins and very good against frontline units like Gnolls and Swordsmen. So I was going to get my gas out here, and then I do actually build a transport right now, and then I am in production of a... Um, Iron Pants here in a couple seconds because that's actually cost 50 gas. So it's a little bit of a kind of, it's not really an early game. I try to hide my transport so just in case he comes in with an owl, which he does do eventually, just to see what I got. And I probably could have done a better job of like, um, you know, preventing him from scouting me, but I did uh, probably could have placed a barracks, you know, right, right behind my base here, right behind the minerals. And then just like try to like prevent it from him scouting. But he does come with an owl here and that was probably my mistake for choosing like a, a short map for um, this kind of strategy, but I wanted to shoot, shoot just to show you guys. So I, d I did see a little blip in the screen, just to indicate that there's an owl here, and then he does see the iron pants here, so he does probably know that something iron is coming. So that's why I tried to hide it and just make sure that the transport was not seen. He obviously knows that something's up, and he does build like four swordsmen or five swordsmen, and then just just to come in here, and I just I wanted to build like a distraction force. So uh, the I find that the best use of transport is to build like an army of uh, forces here and then just think that the enemy knows that you're coming so what i do here is i have five gnolls with a healer you know not really an army per se but like more of a, like a harassment technique just to just to say just to tell him okay he has that owl here i knew he has an owl and then just say okay i have these gnolls here i'm gonna go attack you i'm gonna prevent you from attacking me and then in the meantime i have my transport going around this uh in the bottom half of the map here so that he can't see it. And then I'm coming in with my Gnolls. And I do see that uh, the level 12 Swordsman. Well, this is like a custom map here. But I did not see all those Imps. So I was like, oh my god. So he has Imps in his deck. And I didn't know. Towards the later half of the game here. I did not see that he had uh, Goblin Balloons too. So that was a little bit of a problem for me. Um, in my deck, I did have like um, Crown Mages and uh, Snipers. So I was fine. And at this point here, I got some Crown Mages in my deck here too. Because I knew he had those uh, Imps. And then just to prevent him from like noticing that transport, which is almost at the behind his enemy base here. And in this video, it's a pretty long video. It's 14 minutes because the game actually dragged on for longer than I wanted it to. But so I'm just gonna just gonna be stopping the video like here and there, and then just showing you examples of drops here. But uh, one example, there's obviously a, like a lot of different methods of drops. So my favorite method is to just to a distraction type of strategy. So I have my snipers and my crime mages and gunnels, and then I'm just doing a little bit of damage here just to pull his forces out of position and then i bring my transport in a little bit later on so here I, here comes my attack he does use fireball wasn't really paying attention i probably should have but i just decided to bring in my iron pants and the back side of things and then you know barbecue down all those gonna all those uh, goblins and he actually did, does do a very good job you know just preventing me from getting in there but i kind of missed micro there a little bit and uh, i just uh, q moved so that was a little bit of a mistake there so you know that iron pants drop was a bit of a failed tactic the best thing to do, actually, is to like put your for main forces in a group selection and then use that instead of uh, using your all forces tap group. So that was a little bit of a fail, and I wanted to show you uh, a little bit uh, more. So 
I'll be right back and then show you guys a little bit more of a better Iron Pants drop. Okay, now we're back here, and it's um, it's been about a it's been about six minutes since my last attack here, so I did get attacked uh, quite a bit. But now I have uh, another transport here with uh, two Iron Pants, and then down here I noticed that he was expanding. So at that point, I knew exactly what I wanted to do, and then. He had a big army of uh, imps and uh, goblin balloonists, so I had a little bit of a problem here. That's why I just spammed, for the rest of the game, I just spammed crime mages and um, snipers. But here comes my transport, and then I, this is a proper uh, transport drop. So I drop in here, and then I just, he only had one goblin at this base here, and then I just decided to uh, barbecue the space down as fast as I could, just to make sure that I, he wasn't paying attention. And the benefit about like uh, transport drops is that you can destroy castles in a pretty big hurry. But uh, Hype actually had some Goblin Balloons at his base here. And then he just brought them towards me. And this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to like separate kind of the units here. So he comes in and then he, I noticed the command, drop up my transport because he didn't have any imps. And then put him back in here and then waited for the next attack. Meanwhile, my base was under attack there. I didn't really care. I wanted to make sure that he was not uh, being paying attention. Yeah, so the transport just sits here. Waits until those Goblin Balloons go away and then drop them back down so another way if you can do a, a goblin a, a drop is by coming here with your armies under out of position and then you can drop in to do more go goblin harassment and then once that's done you know he did have imps at that point so i wanted to just make sure they destroy all the goblins and then put them back in the transport and then the transport in the last patch d does have a lot of health so he wasn't able to catch it and i was i got it really lucky there and then he destroyed that last crime age and then that transport got away so that's the benefit about uh, transports is that they have a lot more health in the next patch that he just basically gave up. And that was good for me because now, now that transport will do a little bit more uh, harassment. And now we're back here with the transport going into the bottom half of the map here. He did manage to rebuild the bottom half here. And then I had my owl so I knew exactly where he was. So this is the two pronged attack here where I have my snipers and my mages in the top half because he knew he was building a base up top. But he wanted to make sure that the Iron Pants drop was coming in. And then he did so. And then this, you don't have to do any damage in the Iron Pants drop. You can just come in and then just make sure, get those uh, goblins off the line. And then split the forces here. Meanwhile, my main force up top here is going to go attack this other base here. Because he had no way to defend this. Because he has one army going one direction. And then another army going another direction. So this castle here would be destroyed. Because all, the, all these forces pulled down for my transport iron pants. And then now the top half here. My crime mage and the sniper has destroyed that castle. And then he was basically just left in the middle. So it's getting pretty close to the end of the game here. And I did manage to take a lot of uh, damage towards um, myself. But at the same time, I did more damage towards him. Now, at the, this is the only expansion base. And I did do my iron pants drop again. Although I didn't um, do as much damage as I wanted to this time. But at the same time, all my main forces attacking has the rest of the Goblin Balloons. And he basically, you know, GG's out of the game. Right then and there. So that wasn't really a good example of like um, Iron Pants drops. But um, I, I kind of skipped through the video a lot as you uh, might have expected. So, you know, Iron pa the drops aren't, aren't meant to win you the games. Uh, right then and there. They're meant to, for harassment. And that's all that was, was this harassment because his army was compiled of mainly imps and goblin balloons. So, and even though my first attack was a failure, you know, I brought in the second time, the third time, the fourth time, my, I, my, my transport drops. And what that does is that he pulled his forces out of position to deal with the iron pants drop and then allow me to come in with my main force and then destroy his castle and then back out so that his main force was focusing on my good, uh, my iron pants, and then my main force was already back at my base. So that's that's all there is to it. You know, there's a little bit of micro involved in in uh, transport drops, but if you can master that and group select all your units, and then have a pretty good dual prawn attack, or either that, or just have your forces, you know, distracted while your iron pants or granoles or Pramaster or whatever you have for harassment are in the back line attacking the goblins. So that wasn't really a good video, honestly, but um, I wanted to give you, guys, give you guys an example of Iron Pants drops. So hope you guys enjoyed the strategy video. My name is Cabal, and I'll see you guys next time.